Ça va Ça va Qu'elle peut être bête cette chanson a true icon of French cinema and women in film, Brigitte Bardot is one of the most talented and beautiful starlets of the silver screen. Her roles as seductive yet cunning femme libre and her charming on-screen presence made her into one of the most coveted actresses of the 60s and 70s. Bardot retired from the entertainment industry way back in 1973, but her legacy as a pop culture icon outlives her acting career. An activist and singer, Bardot has remained relevant after all these years and her personal life behind the scenes is just as fascinating as any of the characters she has portrayed in her career. In today's list, we'll take a look at the top 10 Brigitte Bardot movies of all time. Number 10, Chalico. This 1968 Western stars Sean Connery and Brigitte Bardot, and just like many other European Westerns of the time, it was shot on location in Spain, even though the film's story takes place in the New Mexico desert. Bardot plays Irina Lazar, a French countess who travels through the New Mexico desert with a party of European aristocrats. Thank you, but I could hardly miss at that distance. Uh, it will be a magnificent what trophy. Have the head. Her journey is cut short when she wanders off into Apache territory where she meets Shalico, a former U.S. cavalry officer who has vowed to keep non-Indians away from Indian territory. Irina quickly becomes infatuated with Shalico, who has to protect her and her group from the unforgiving Apache territory. Sean Connery took a sabbatical from his role as James Bond to work in Chalico. Bardot was set to co-star in On Her Majesty's Secret Service, the only film in the original James Bond saga where Connery didn't play the titular British super spy. They were going to kill me. It was foolish of you to ride off alone. None of it would have happened had you stayed with Frederick. Number 9, Doctor at Sea. By 1955, Brigitte Bardot was already a well-known name in the world of French cinema. The comedy, Doctor at Sea, would be the actress's first role in an English-speaking film. In this movie, Bardot plays Hélène Colbert, a gorgeous French nightclub singer. Je ne sais pas, darling. I don't know. Still, I'm hoping that you do. Doctor at Sea is the second film in the Doctor series of British comedies, a series of flicks that features Dr. Simon Sparrow as their main character. In this film, Dr. Sparrow boards a cargo ship headed to Brazil. In the South American country, he meets and falls in love with Helene, leading to tensions between him and the captain of the ship. Playing the love interest of one of Britain's most popular films of the time launched Bardot's career internationally as audiences were charmed by Bardot's singing talent and dazzling beauty. Well, I think we have to say goodbye now, before... Yes. Number 8, Plucking the Daisy. This spicy French comedy is the type of movie that cemented Bardot's popularity in her early days as an actress. Bardot plays the role of Agnes Dumont, the daughter of a conservative general. Her father finds out that his daughter has written a scandalous novel and tries to send her to a convent to mend her ways. Agnes escapes to Paris to live with her brother, but on the train ride to the city, she meets Daniel, a young journalist. To raise some money for her and her brother, Agnes enters a striptease contest, a contest that Daniel is covering for his magazine. Provocative and funny, Plucking the Daisy was also released in the U.S. as Mademoiselle Striptease, a far spicier title that wouldn't help with the reception it got in America. Despite some negative comments towards the smuttier elements of the film, critics almost unanimously praised Bardot's performance, considering her the soul of this comedy. Number 7, Helen of Troy. A retelling of Homer's Iliad and Odyssey, Helen of Troy follows the epic story of the Trojan War. Bardot plays the role of Andraste, the handmaiden of Helen of Troy. The story is told from the Trojan viewpoint as they fight against the city-state of Sparta and rescue the oft-kidnapped Helen of Troy. I am the slave sent to the Prince of Troy. The Queen's handmaiden, eh? The King commands me to entertain his guests. This drama film deviates a bit from Homer's original story, which centers more on the gray areas of the Trojan War. Helen of Troy features a clear good guys versus bad guys dynamic, where the Trojans are portrayed as the heroes of the tale, while the other Greek lords are the clear villains of the show. In this film, Bardot plays a small role as Helen's handmaiden. This is one of her first English-speaking films, so it makes sense for her to play a role with few lines, even though many of the European actors, including Bardot, were dubbed in post-production. Oh no! They'll kill him! I still say good! And I too would say so, if he were as unattractive as you! Number 6, And God Created Woman. The film that turned Bardot into an overnight sensation, And God Created Woman, is a French romantic comedy that turned the actress into one of her generation's most prolific beauties. Bardot plays the main character of the film, Juliette, 
a young and lewd orphan who makes no effort to restrain her lascivious charms. Y a rien à faire. Tu rentres chez toi? Non, je vais manger mon sandwich sur la chité. Things get complicated in Juliet's life when she falls in love with two brothers. She favors one brother over the other, but in the end, she ends up marrying the brother she's not truly in love with. The suggestive content in this movie caused a mild uproar in some American communities, particularly with the Catholic Church, which quickly condemned the film's spicy theme. That said, the movie is also credited with making Saint-Tropez, the French town where the story takes place, into a fashionable resort town. Number 5, Viva Maria. Another one of Bardot's body comedies, Viva Maria is a spicy comedy where the French actress plays Maria II, a revolutionary in a fictitious Central American country. The daughter of an Irish Republican anarchist, Maria II meets Maria I, the singer of a circus. Maria II joins the circus and accidentally invents striptease, which makes her circus famous. The women meet a revolutionary that gets them into the fight against El Dictador, the country's tyrannical ruler. The two Marias become involved in the revolution, with them creating their own state and leading a group of peasants. This film was one of the main reasons why the MPAA ratings code was established. The racy subject of the movie and the provocative role of Bardo were too much for the American sensibilities at the time, to the point of having the film banned in the state of Texas. On a chanté Véron et ses amours. On a chanté les guitares. Number four, Spirits of the Dead. An anthology film based on the writings of Edgar Allan Poe, Spirits of the Dead brings together three European directors to adapt tales from Poe's Extraordinary Stories compilations. In this movie, we see adaptations of Metz and Gerstein, William Wilson, and Never Bet the Devil Your Head. He needs to have an audience. But in a tete-a-tete, -tete, he can't perform. Bardo appears on the William Wilson segment as Giuseppina, a courtesan who plays cards all through the night of a murder with a protagonist, William Wilson. Wilson is an army officer who has lived a cruel life and, in the end, murders his doppelganger after he tells everyone Wilson cheated when he played cards with Giuseppina. The segment in which Bardo appears was directed by the French Louis Malle. The director wanted a young and beautiful actress to play the role of Giuseppina. Originally, he had wanted to use the Brazilian model Florinda Bolcan, but he was pleasantly surprised by Brigitte Bardot's acting chops. He wants something else, Josephine. You don't mind, do you? Number three, Love is My Profession. Originally titled In Case of Adversity in its native France, the movie was released as Love is My Profession in the United States. This drama thriller involves an attorney and a young female criminal and demonstrates that the lawyer is decided to do everything for their forbidden love. Ah! <laughs> C'est exactement ce qu'il faut. C'est combien? 340. 340. Bardot plays Yvette Maudot, a 22-year-old criminal that's caught after robbing a watchmaker's store with a toy gun. Unable to pay for an attorney, Yvette seduces a married lawyer, André Gobio, who rigs a trial to acquit her. The two begin having an affair, both of them unaware that their love could have deadly consequences. The film was met with little fanfare in the US, but it became a hit with the French critics. Renowned filmmaker and critic François Truffaut considered it a movie that's 100% French and also commended Bardot's performance, calling this her best film since And God Created Woman. Number 2, La Vérité. Nominated for an Academy Award and directed by Henri Georges Clouseau, La Verite is one of Bardot's most popular movies, even if it took a heavy toll on her life. The film follows the life story of Dominique and Gilbert, two lovers brought together by their desire to rebel against their lives. Dominique, played by Bardot, is a small town girl that lives with her parents and her younger sister. Ça m'amuse de vous observer, vous. Vous êtes un cas. Un cas? Mm -hmm. Dominique is tired of her aimless life and wishes to live a life of excitement away from her family in Little Town. Dominique becomes infatuated with Gilbert, a young conductor that's the polar opposite of Dominique. Bardot had an affair with her co-star, Sammy Fry, during the film's production. Bardot, who was already married to Jacques Chartier. Once the fling became known, Bardot was devastated and became suicidal, attempting to cut her wrists. This attempt on her life was unsuccessful, and the couple continued to be married until 1962, two years after they both attempted suicide. 
Je vais prendre l'air, comme tu dis. Oui, c'est ça, à demain. À demain. Our number one pick is Content. Made at the top of Bardo's popularity, Content is a movie that feels like an adaptation of the actress's complicated relationship with the world of cinema. Directed by Jean-Luc Godard, this movie tells the turbulent love story of a young scriptwriter and her wife as he works on a Fritz Lang movie. The relationship between Paul, the screenwriter, and his wife Camille, played by Bardo, grows distant as a womanizing American producer comes between them. Fearing that she's being used as a bargaining chip by her husband, Camille concludes that she no longer loves her husband, even if he tries his best to rekindle their love. Contempt opens with a controversial nude scene featuring Bardo. Producer Joseph Levine insisted on having that scene be the first one in the movie, saying that it was the only way to sell a movie that he despised. Levine's hatred for Contempt aside, the film went on to become one of the best films of the 60s. Critics loved the movie, particularly Bardo's nuanced character. Contempt currently holds an approval rating of 93% on review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes, with a user score of 7.6 out of 10 on IMDb.com. Il est pas idiot. Il va réfléchir et la prochaine fois il te demandera pas à toi. Do you agree with our list? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.